What's going on you guys? What's good? Welcome back to my channel. Happy Thursday. Hope you guys are having an incredible week. Thank you again for just tuning in. Um, today I'm just being super, super casual. We're going to do another like tea time, kind of like life updates, chit chat, if you will. I screenshotted a few questions from Snapchat. Um, I did a video like this, I think like a week and a half ago where someone unfortunately stole my headphones and just some, a bunch of stuff has actually happened in the past two weeks. My life has been like a novella, like very eventful. And a lot of you have been DMing me wanting like updates on certain things so I figured I would just do another like catch up with me about life situation but yeah please subscribe if you haven't already give this video a like if you guys are into life updates and you like these like more casual chatty videos because I know that's just what I personally love watching from my favorites but yeah I've been a little bit um, less active I guess on social media the past I want to say like the past month and I think I mean I'm still on there every day but I used to be like you know, snapping like 50 snaps a day and stuff, which I know some of you love and some of you are like, girl, that is way too much. Um, but I've just been so incredibly busy with work stuff. Um, I launched my Girl Boss Academy courses, which you guys know. I've got an Instagram masterclass and a YouTube masterclass where I teach other young female entrepreneurs how to grow an engaged organic following exactly like I've done. And I share every single thing with you guys that I've learned. You guys have been incredibly supportive. I've had so many of you ladies join, which has brought me so much fulfillment, like I can't even put into words. I feel like I'm so repetitive about this because a lot of you have been asking about it and I just feel like in every video I say how excited I am and how happy it's made me, but to just see other women growing up their platform and their business and being able to provide for their family, any tips and tricks I can share with you about how I've learned money and grown my audience, I feel it's my duty to share back with other people. So I've been so busy this past month doing all of that. I have new, if you enroll in the course, I have new videos that come out twice a week and eBooks that go along with everything. So I've been going to bed at like two or 3 a.m almost every night, which I know is not good. Like I definitely need my sleep. So I'm able to be the best mom and the best businesswoman I can, but I've just been so invested in everything. And I've been trying to answer like every DM and just so much stuff outside of YouTube. Like YouTube was my main job for so long. It still obviously is something I'm doing full time, but launching all of my courses is also something I've wanted to do for a really long time. So I'm trying to put a lot of effort and time into that. Um, so I think last week I only had like two YouTube videos up instead of three, but I'm determined to get three up this week as well. I'm hoping my son will actually be enrolled in a new school. So a lot of you are asking about that. I guess I can lead this like life update with that. So he actually got kicked out of his last school and it's not for any like bad reason. He wasn't like misbehaved. It's nothing that he did. So what happened is I enrolled in that school whenever we had our last apartment and it's a different district. So I lived in a different city. So we enrolled there. And then when I moved here, I never switched him to a school that is over here basically because he had his speech therapist over there, which, and I was under the impression they do like a yearly evaluation um, and they had approved him for the entire year. And I wanted him to keep the same speech therapist because as you guys know, he was a micro preemie and um, once I find a teacher for him or like a speech therapist that he really loves and who understands his situation and is willing to be patient with him and like work with him properly, he was making a lot of progress with her and he would see her, I believe two or three days out of the week, they'd pull him out of class to have his speech therapy. I didn't want him to have to switch teachers. And then also his main teacher for his preschool actual class was super sweet. She had two like teacher aides. Um, one of them actually watched my videos. Like they were so supportive, so kind. So I was like, you know what? I'll just keep driving him back to that other school. Even though it was almost like 25 minutes away or 30 minutes away each way, I was willing to do that drive because I wanted Christian to have the best education possible and like stay cool with those teachers, you know? And we're already in the middle of a like a semester or whatever they call it for kids. Um, so I was not under the impression that he had to switch schools like in the middle of a semester basically. So anywho, his teachers watched my videos. I don't think they like slipped up and said anything or how it happened, but they found out that I moved basically into this condo and I've been here a while, but um, so his teacher told me that if I couldn't provide a utility bill from that old city that I would have to, that they were going to disenroll him from school and I would have to put him in another district. So obviously I could go online and like Photoshop a utility bill, but I was like, no, nope, I'm going to be honest. And I just told her the truth. I was like, we moved, like we moved. Uh, so they gave him like a week and a half notice or something and then they literally just disenrolled him from his school and she's like you need to go find a school for him that's in your district so I'm like okay so I come home go online because all the registration these days is like online and I look up the exact city that I live in and there's no state preschool in this city there's only one like in the surrounding nearby city I guess my city like falls into another district 
So I drove over there, submitted them all the paperwork for my son's IEP, which is like his speech therapy, and the application that said he was approved for the entire year for state preschool based on his like delay, his uh, speech delay and everything. And this was last week. So they took all my paperwork, took my number, and then called me back. And they're like, yeah, based on his qualifications and how much of a delay he has, he has been approved for the whole year but this state preschool is actually, there's no more room on it. Like there's a waiting list. So the, the state preschool class that he's approved for is full. And I was like, okay, like, and I, I have just recently found out that preschool is optional. I don't know why I thought it was like a requirement or if you live in this, in the uh, city that they have to make room for you basically. So his old school, they won't let him go anymore. The main district lady was super rude to me. She basically just disenrolled him, which I would never make a preschooler just like, I would never just disenroll them in the middle of a semester. To me, that seems like mean. I know it's like legally what they have to do if you don't live in that district, but I'm sure there's other kids who go there and the parents just drive them and they don't say anything. It's just kind of shitty that they found out basically. But now his new school district is telling me that they're full. So he can't even go to the new school. So basically I've been having to look at private schools, um, which I don't mind, Christian's education comes Comes first I will pay for whatever he needs um, but the thing is if I enroll him now in a private school for the next like eight to ten weeks and then it's gonna be summer and then in August he's gonna start kindergarten with a whole new teacher so I just feel bad that my son has to go through between like three or four different teachers all within like a three-month period I think that's crazy I think it's completely unfair so yeah it's just really shitty um, I feel bad for Christian because he's had like this past week with no school. I've been trying to do whatever like learning time I can do with him at home. We've been like writing his name, practicing our sentences, our colors. I've been trying to like homeschool him a little, if you will, because he hasn't like had actual physical class. But I really wish that he was back at his old school where we loved all the teachers. And I just think it's kind of crappy that they literally like they made us leave. They didn't give me any choice or anything, which just stinks. And now his new school is full. So that was a really <laughs> my comp my computer. What am I saying? My camera says I've been recording for nine minutes already. So I know that was a very long like rant on that. Um, but yeah, I miss his old school. He doesn't have a school right now. I'm hoping probably, I'm, I think this video is going to go up Thursday. So hopefully by Monday, he'll be starting in a new private school again, which is fine. It's like the cost is not what bothers me. I just want to make sure that he had a really good speech therapist and everything he needed. So I will keep you guys updated. But as of now, we're on the hunt for an incredible private school. So next, I guess we can just jump into really quick. I've got a bunch of DMs from you guys after my last video, just asking what's good with my son's dad. And I told you guys I would keep private what I felt I needed to keep private but that I'm still always trying to be very transparent with you about my whole like single mom journey and I don't mind just like filling you guys in um, nothing's really happened so I haven't actually physically let him see Christian yet um, which I definitely think is for the best obviously I have to proceed this whole situation with caution and just because he reaches out um, doesn't mean you know the minute he asks that I just need to let him see my son Christian is my I don't even have to say it my absolute everything he's my entire world I have to be super protective with him so I just basically had to talk with him saying you know what you need to actually start supporting Christian because he's never paid any child support I've never like gone after him for it I've just been a very hard worker in my own business and been blessed to have enough money to support Christian but obviously legally if that's your child you you need to support them so I told him I was like you need to start paying for Christian on a consistent basis. Show me that you're serious about supporting him. Show me that your kid comes before anything else. You need to not even think about trying to get me back or asking for me to like be with you or anything that is completely off the table. Like you are back for Christian and that's that. So I made that super clear. And I just wanna see throughout these next few months if he's consistent on paying for Christian and like whatever he needs. And I also want to take a long time to kind of get to like re-know him and his personality and what type of man he is because I haven't been a part of his life for four years and I am not gonna introduce my son to someone who I even have the slightest feeling that they may leave, that they're irresponsible, that they don't have their shit like on track or that they're not mature or ready to be a dad. I would much rather just keep it how it is, you know, because the way our life is set up with Christian. He has so much love through my dad and my brother. And when I do eventually date someone, uh, they're gonna be an amazing role model for Christian. I don't need someone just coming in who doesn't have their, their stuff together, you know? And it's been so long since he's been in the picture that of course I am super weary. When he just reaches out after so long, you have to wonder like what the motives are. So yeah, I was just like very strict with him. And I was like, I'm not trying to be mean, but this is what you need to do if you want to even have the chance of seeing Christian. So. He has given me his word, but we're gonna just see what happens because he's bailed out many times throughout the past four years and I have just completely provided for Christian on my own. And honestly, that's what I continue to plan to do. I don't have too much hope that he's gonna like follow through on everything, but I don't know, you guys are so sweet. You've basically seen me raise Christian from when he was born until now completely on my own. You've seen me go through living at my mom's, living at my dad's, getting my first shitty apartment, 
getting my second apartment, which was like a little better, and now living here in like my dream condo, doing it all on my own. So thank you guys so much for tuning in to just like even follow my journey and like see another single mom like crushing it, you know? I just hope I can inspire you guys that if you're not in a relationship or if you're single or if you need to leave a relationship that you know is toxic but you don't know how or how you'll make it or how you'll make enough money, I just wanna let you know that you can and you will. Like if you have the drive within you to pursue what you're passionate about or go super hard at your job or get two jobs to support your kid, whatever you have to do, like you do not need another partner if they're the wrong person for you and you never need someone else to stay with someone just so they can finance you. Like I get DMs from single moms all the time of like, how did you do it? Like, how are you supporting him? And it's just consistency. Like with YouTube, I'm on my fourth year now and I've consistently put out three videos a week for four years. And now of course I've expanded into my Girl Boss Academy courses and my eBooks and other things I can sell to like make money and support Christian. But I think just the consistency of the hustle for that many years and knowing that I have to support another human, that if I don't make a living, I won't be able to support Christian. Like that's my drive, that's my why. You really have to find your why and dig really deep and ask yourself, what are you doing it all for? Because the times that you feel lazy or unmotivated, your why is gonna keep you going. And this also ties into weight loss a lot. I know a totally separate topic, but I also get a lot of DMs about weight loss, about how do you stay consistent and motivated. And on the days that I don't want to go to the gym, my why is what gets me up and gets me going. I want to be healthy. I want to be in the best physical and mental shape possible so I'm in the best mood, I have the most energy so that I'm the best mom. So I can go to the park and run around with Christian without getting out of breath. So I don't have to worry about getting diabetes possibly. Like he is just my why for everything. Like since having Christian, it's you know, he's my entire life now. It's changed absolutely everything. I would say pretty much the underlying cause of my business, my weight loss, like wanting a high quality life is Christian, just wanting to provide for him. So if you are a single mom out there or maybe you're pregnant or you're not with your partner anymore, I just wanna let you know I truly believe that you can do it. You can accomplish any level of success in your life if you first believe that you can and you're willing to work hard. All right, so another topic I wanted to just like touch on in this updates, if you will, um, in my last video, I let you guys know about when I accidentally and very unfortunately left my headphones in my apartment complex, um, they ended up catching the girl who stole them on video. And so many of you kept commenting, asking, did I go confront her? Like, did I go knock on her door and ask for them back? And I would love to, you guys, but I don't know who she is. Like, I don't know where she lives. All we have is that really small video clip of her. Um, But a lot of you wanted to know, like, what my apartment complex was doing about it. Unfortunately, like, they suck. I hope, I don't know if they watch my videos because I'm not speaking highly of them right now, but they're horrible. Like, okay, so to get into our gym, it's all, like, very high security in, like, the townhouse complex I live in. You have to swipe your fob key to get in. You have to swipe it two times on two separate doors before you get into the gym. Um, So she obviously had to swipe some kind of key to get in there. And obviously they have cameras in there because we have the f- the photo and actual video footage of her like taking the headphones. So I went back in to ask one of the main managers a few days ago what the update was on the situation. And even with all that video surveillance they have, they're telling me at this point there's nothing they can do. So the first they told me they were gonna call the fob company and ask one of the guys or one of the workers to come out and like ID her fob and like match it up to which apartment she lived in. And they told me this almost two weeks ago now. And I kept calling back and they were like, oh, we don't have any new information for you. The people from the fob company haven't got here. And then I went in the other day and all she said was, oh, we're so, so sorry. They weren't able to ID the fob. I don't even know, I don't even truly believe that they went through all the effort and got someone to come out from the company and like matched it up. I feel like they're just not taking it seriously and they didn't do anything. And I told her too, I said, if you guys have paid so much money to put surveillance into the gym, what is the point of being able to hopefully catch someone on video and record them doing something horrible such as stealing if you're not even able to prosecute them or do anything about it? Because from what I looked up online, I believe it's over three or $400 is considered like a misdemeanor or something. Like it's a crime to rob someone. And the complex that I live in is so, so pricey as well. You would think that for living here, they would give us a better, higher standard of care and like actually do something when something serious like this happens. Um, but yeah, they, every single person who works in the front office just told me that they don't recognize this girl, that they can't ID the fob. And if, trust me, if I knew who she was, like if I end up seeing her in the gym, I will a million percent walk up to her and tell her like, those are my headphones. I want to like, some of you said to make a poster with like her face on it and put it up in the gym. I don't know if the front people will like take it down if I do that. Um, but yeah, I definitely feel like, like I said, for the amount that I pay to live here and just for like standard, like human 
I don't know, human decency and like human care in general, I would really hope that they would actually do something. I'm sure if one of their headphones got stolen or something that pricey, they would take a little bit more effort to actually find out who it was. So it really bothers me that they're not taking any more steps to like figure it out. Oh, and get this, they told me at the front, she was like, oh, you can make a police report, but if they come in here to ask to view the footage, she's like, our security footage deletes every seven days. Bitch, what? You're telling me that you guys invested in a security system that costs thousands of dollars for the complex, and if you catch someone doing something on it, like stealing, you can't even save the footage for more than seven days? She literally told me, she was like, every seven days the tape restarts, or whatever she, whatever wording she put it in. She literally said, oh, thank God you have the picture of her on your phone, because we took a picture when we first saw it on, me and my mom, on our cell phones. Um, she's like, because we wouldn't be able to show them the footage here on our system, because it resets every seven days. And I'm like, you have got to be kidding me. That's probably like the stupidest thing that I've heard. So I don't know. Obviously, it's very frustrating. It was my fault that I left the headphones in there. But for someone to just see them, realize that obviously no shit, they're not yours. And for you to just take them, it's it sucks. So law of attraction, karma, whatever you want to call it, it will come back to her. But yeah, I'm not going to go out and spend that amount of money on a new pair of headphones right now because you guys know I'm completely saving for a house. That was a splurge purchase for me. And this is probably the universe telling me like, bitch, stop buying Beats because that's like about my fourth pair, like if we're being real here. Um, so yeah, I just have my other headphones that I've been using. I'm not going to go repurchase those. If they show up in the future, great. If not, I mean, you're welcome. Merry Christmas because she just got like a really good gift. So anywho, okay. It looks like <laughs> I do this in every video. Like, why is this anything new? Why am I surprised? I've been recording for 24 minutes long ass video. I only went over like three topics, of course, because I like rambled on all of them. But I hope that gives you guys a few little life updates for those of you who are following me for the more like personal life aspect update of everything. Um, and yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on what continues to happen. Oh, 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 I forgot. How could I forget? Why am I whispering? How could I forget? You guys, I went on a date the other night. A good one. A real good one. Mm -hmm. Yep. It was the first date. And it was amazing, like amazing, but um, yeah, I think that's all I'm gonna say about that. So I guess I'll keep you updated on that too. I'll keep you updated on everything. So anywho, <laughs> I'm such a freaking weirdo. Follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. I would love to have you guys. Those accounts are public. I've been posting so much on my Instagram story, so I'd love to have you guys over there. If you want to join my Girl Boss Academy and grow your YouTube or your Instagram platform, I'd be honored to be your mentor. I will teach you everything that I know. Um, all those links will be in the description box. I appreciate you guys so damn much, per usual. Please be sure that you're subscribed here to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.